The investigation into South Korea's fifth largest conglomerate, Lotte Group, is heating up. After a raid on Lotte's headquarters and the homes of key executives last week, authorities are looking deeper into suspicions of slush funds and the group's murky governance structure. Kim Minji reports. Prosecutors on Monday said investigators have found over two million U.S. dollars in cash and a stash of documents belonging to Shin Gyo Ko, the founder of Lotte Group. The trove was found in the home of the founder's niece, and prosecutors believe that it comes from the personal safe in his office at Lotte Hotel. Although company officials questioned on the matter have said the money consists of dividends and salaries, prosecutors are looking into whether it is part of a company slush fund. In fact, they say they have traced over $25 million in suspicious funds belonging to Shin and his second son, Dongbin, the chairman of Lotte Group. This comes after prosecutors raided the group's head office, key branch offices, and the homes of key executives last Friday as part of a probe into the slush fund allegations, possible tax evasion, and claims the group stockpiled wealth through internal trading among its affiliates. In light of the probe, Lotte's key administrative and management body is also under pressure. Prosecutors plan to summon key executives from the policy headquarters, which also employs close aides of the owner family. With that, the conglomerate's business plans are also taking a hit. Lotte Hotel had planned to go public on the local bourse in late June, but that's been pushed indefinitely. Lotte has also withdrawn its bid to take over U.S.-based petrochemical firm Axial Corporation. The investigation comes amid the ongoing internal strife between the group's chairman, Shin Dongbin, and his elder brother, Dongju. The elder Shin was stripped of his executive titles at three of Lotte's affiliates early last year and has since been struggling to claw his way back up. Kim Minji, Arirang News.